In a previous video, we talked about the endomembrane system and how it is made up of a series of interconnected organelles that perform a coordinated task. The endomembrane system includes the endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes and vacuoles. In this video, we are going to focus on Golgi apparatus which can be thought of as the courier or parcel center of the cell. When we use the example of an energy drink manufacturing plant, we learned that the endoplasmic reticulum is the central manufacturing unit of the cell. It manufactures proteins and lipids. Now what happens to the energy drink after it has been manufactured and modified? It is bottled in cans and sent to different stores, right? That part of the job is handled by the Golgi apparatus. Whatever substances are produced in the endoplasmic reticulum are transported to the Golgi apparatus from where they are sent to their target locations. So let's see how the Golgi apparatus looks like. The Golgi apparatus can be thought of as a loaf of bread in which the slices of bread are arranged parallel to each other. And each stack is a flattened disc shaped structure known as cisternae. The word cisterna is familiar to you because we learnt that the infoldings of the endoplasmic reticulum are also known as cisterna. Each stack that makes up the Golgi apparatus is also known as cisterna. Unlike the loaf of bread in which each slice is rectangular or square shaped, the stacks that make up the Golgi apparatus are more curved in nature. The part of the Golgi that faces the endoplasmic reticulum or faces the nucleus is known as the cis face and it is convex shaped, convexly curved. That part, the cis face acts as the docking station for incoming transport vesicles. These vesicles contain proteins and lipids from the ER. They are coming from the ER and they contain proteins and lipids. So these vesicles come and fuse at the cis face of the Golgi apparatus. Once they fuse with the Golgi apparatus at the cis face, the contents of the vesicles are released into the Golgi apparatus. Now these contents then move through the different stacks of the Golgi apparatus. The space between two cisternae which is known as the lumen, these proteins and lipids move through the stacks of the Golgi apparatus. And when they do this, more modifications are done to the proteins and lipids making them fully functional. Additionally, tags that tell the proteins and lipids where to go are also given to them. So basically, Golgi apparatus gives the address to proteins and lipids where they need to be sent. Once the modifications are done, the substances reach the end of the Golgi apparatus. This part faces away from the nucleus towards the plasma membrane. This part is concave shaped and known as the transphase. And from here, more vesicles are formed which contain the fully modified proteins and lipids. And these vesicles are then transported to their target locations. So the vesicles also know the address of the protein and lipid. And they are transported to different parts of the cell like the nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosomes about which we'll learn in another video, plasma membrane or even out of the cell. So those proteins or lipids called secretory proteins and lipids are transported by the secretory vesicles. Now, how are these proteins and lipids secreted out of the cell? So, this is a vesicle that contains proteins or lipids that has formed from the Golgi apparatus. It knows the address where it needs to go and the address is out of the cell. So, what happens is this vesicle comes and fuses with the plasma membrane that covers the entire cell. This vesicle comes and fuses with the plasma membrane. As this vesicle fuses with the plasma membrane, the proteins or lipids are released out of the cell. So these secretory vesicles and of course Golgi apparatus are more in number in secretory cells like the cells in the glands, in stomach, in intestines and in the testes and ovaries. Those that produce secretory proteins and lipids have more number of Golgi apparatus and more number of secretory vesicles. So this is how the Golgi apparatus acts like the courier or parcel center of the cell. 